So it's Thursday the 6th of October and that can mean only one thing. Books are my bag. In fact, it actually means more than one thing because today is also National Poetry Day. So amidst our Books Are My Bag celebrations in this video are going to be a few sneaky poetry tidbits. But if you don't know what it is, Books Are My Bag is a time in the year when people from across the bookish world, including you, get together and spend a little extra time in those physical bookshops. The campaign kicks off today and in collaboration with Books Are My Bag, lots of physical bookstores will be having celebrations going on this weekend, not to mention that throughout the month, Books Are My Bag are running a literary award, the shortlists of which feature a few Pan Macmillan titles. But thanks to Pan Macmillan, I am now a resident of London town which means I have never been surrounded by so many physical bookshops in my life. So in honour of Books Are My Bag, for this week's Book Break episode, I thought I would take you around some of the biggest and best bookshops in London. I can only get to a few in this video, so this is by no means an exhaustive list. So if you have any favourite bookshops in London and outside, please do let me know in the comments down below. So first up I visited Hatchards in Piccadilly Circus because why privilege age or beauty when you can have both? This bookshop is over 200 years old and is absolutely stunning inside. Not only does it make for a beautiful building but it is full to the brim with nooks and crannies naturally full of books including a good selection of poetry. But if beautiful bookshops are your thing, then you have to make sure you visited Daunt Books in Marleybone. This is a beautiful piece of architecture outside and in and actually features gorgeous balconies full of even more titles. Not to mention an interesting setup where books are divided by countries and continents from travel books all the way to fiction set in these places. But I really couldn't do a tour of London bookshops without taking a visit to the massive Foils flagship store in Charing Cross. If Hatchards and Daunts demonstrate the elegance and beauty of tradition, then Foils features everything that's right about modern design. Not to mention the size. If there's one place you're probably going to find the book you're looking for in London, then it's Foils. And the staircases, which always feature a beautiful display of books, made me think maybe they'd been watching Book Break as well. But to finish off any bookshop day in London, I would suggest a little trip to Watterson's in Tottenham Court Road. Not quite as big as the other bookshops on this list, but this is the end of the day now and you've done a lot of book shopping. And one thing they do have is a bar. And what goes better with books than beer? Now like I mentioned, it's also National Poetry Day, so I decided to pile my books or my bag, tote bag, full of some of my favourite poets. If you saw my first video for Pan Macmillan, you'll already know how big of a Kate Tempest fan I am. And luckily for me, her new book actually comes out today as well to coincide with her album release. So if you haven't already read them, there's Brand New Ancients and Hold Your Own. But to go alongside those, we now also have Let Them Eat Chaos. But I know poetry can be a strange genre to enter into if you're not familiar with it. So I thought I'd put this out there now that if you would like me to do a poetry video right here on Book Break and have any questions, around poetry or recommendations for what you'd like that video to be then please do let me know down below and I will get to it. But I think that's plenty for you to be getting along with for now so please do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I hope you get some time to spend in a physical bookshop this weekend. So I think in our lifetime most of us have been intimidated by one classic or another. They cover a wealth of literature from hundreds and thousands of years from across the genres. Because of this I'm pretty certain that no matter what your contemporary tastes are, there's a classic out there for you too. So these are my classic recommendations for the modern reader.